Good morning everybody and welcome to another Walt Disney World vlog. Today we're actually heading out of Walt Disney World and we are heading to Aquatica which is part of the SeaWorld group and we're going to be going there. It's like a water park. It's a great great park actually. Although I have been reading on Facebook groups. I'm joined to a Facebook group called It's Orlando Time and on It's Orlando Time a few people have been saying that Aquatica has not been running particularly great recently apparently they're losing a lot of staff and it kind of means that a lot of the attractions aren't open so like yesterday there was like hardly any slides open and there was hardly any of the like lazy rivers open and that kind of thing so i'm not too sure we was very very tempted to cancel it today but we decided to go anyway our it's about half nine now and our uber's just about to pick us up it's open from 10 a.m so we're going to go and head over there but yeah hopefully because it's a Saturday today, it's going to be a slightly better day and yeah, hopefully they just have the staff on and everything's open because it's a lot of money to spend out for it not to be great. But um, that's the plan, so we're going to be at Aquatica until probably about 3 o'clock and then we're going to come back and then we're going to go to hoop de doo Musical Review. I've never done hoop de doo Musical Review before, so I'm really, really excited to do that, it's like a dinner show sort of thing. But if this is the first time you're seeing me, then hello, my name is Sam and I post lots of Disney lifestyle, travel and theatre content. So if you like that kind of thing, then make sure you're hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. I've got quite a few like, Disney World vlogs now. This is actually my second week now here at Walt Disney World. So if you want to go and check out any of my previous content, then go and check that one out. It's on like a playlist. Um, but yeah, and welcome to this lovely, lovely family. But yeah, so our Uber's just waiting for us at reception. So I will see you when we get to Aquatica. Let's go. Guys, we've made it here to Aquatica. It actually opens at 10 a.m. today. Um, and I think it's open till six. I want to say six. Uh, but outside, coolers, food and drinks are not allowed. So just be aware of that. Don't be bringing like the Disney refillable mug or anything like that here. Um, just because they will not let you in. And security are quite strict on it here. It's always such a great water park, this one. I'm just hoping it is all open today, to be fair. Um, because the things I've been hearing is not great at all. So it's a Saturday today, so I'm expecting it to be pretty busy, to be honest. I'm expecting the crowd to be quite a lot. Um, it's already quite busy, it's not even open yet, and there's a lot of people walking in. And also it's a very, very hot day. The staff have basically just come in with like, make sure you top up your sun cream, which you definitely need to do, because um, if you watch my Typhoon Lagoon vlog, I got so burnt at Typhoon Lagoon, like, so burnt, so. I am oh, definitely going to be topping up my sun cream quite regular today so that it doesn't happen again. See, so yeah, I think they're like holding everybody until exactly 10 a.m. Um, it's currently 9.55, um, but this is kind of the wait to go and get a bed. So yeah, um, but we always like getting a bed by the wave pool area, um, which is nice. It's nice and sandy and it's just a great place to chill actually for the day. And we've got all the slides kind of all the way around. It's not like Typhoon Lagoon where you've got like the body slides and you've got the raft slides like they're all just dotted around randomly but this is the way to get in we've got these beds for today which is great what's great about um aquatic car is they have a lot more seating area with the like umbrellas at the top um which is great because uh, over in typhoon lagoon they literally don't have any umbrellas and you end up just like burning so at least we've got some shade and shelter from the sun today It already feels so much busier here than like a Typhoon Lagoon water park. I just looked at one of the queues, it's going all the way down the staircase. So I know it's Saturday and I'm expecting it to be busy. It's a day of carrying tubes. That's so fun. That was really fun. Thank you, buddy. Over here in a quite a they have the famous drop slide, like the body drop slides. So it's these ones here. Um, I think they've got three drop slides and one which is like a drop slide but it's not but basically you just stand in a tube and the floor drops from underneath your feet and these are the only slides that do scare me a little bit like water parks don't scare me at all but these ones do like my anxiety <laughs> can feel it like rising when I'm on there and it's more like um, like 
drums or like a heartbeat sound before you go on it. Um, but yeah, I will do them. I always do them when I'm here. But they do just make me a bit sick before. <laughs> It's actually so good, but um, they always look so intense before. I done the blue one, the blue one and the pink one. No, you done the blue one and the orange one. Oh yeah, blue and orange. I done the blue and the orange one. And then I, and I think, think blue is the most intense one. It I seems. did the blue one and, and the purple one. Yeah, um, blue. I'd say the blue is much more intense than the orange one, in my opinion. Um, blue has so much water going in your face. You have to like hold your breath for a good like 10 seconds before you actually go and breathe properly. There weren't water going in your face, but such good slides. And if you're coming here and your owner generally junkie, they're the ones who definitely do. really nice area as well for like toddlers they've got a few slides as well i think this is quite a new area i think they might have added a few things since last time but um yeah it's great that if you're bringing like young ones here they've got a nice little area for them and you can spend quite a few hours over here this one is such a fun one, it's reef plunge and you actually go into the water, like obviously the tube is in the water and there's dolphins which like swim beside you. It's so cool but the queue is so long for this one today. So we're waiting for this dolphin plunge ride and we've waited such a long time. It's, it's been so about, long. it's so long, it's about, I think we've waited about 40 minutes so far and it's just not moving at all. There's a lot of quick queue. Um, I definitely think if you're coming here at a weekend, they offer a quick queue. I'm not sure how much it costs. Probably not even that much really, um, because it doesn't cost that much at SeaWorld. But um, a lot of people have quick queue, and I highly recommend probably using quick queues for a quite a car if you're visiting on a Saturday, because this is the busiest we've seen in quite a car. Some slides are getting like straight on, like the body slides over there, the ones that you like to drop down. Like we didn't wait at all. We've done that twice in like, five minutes so we've done that really quickly but like ones like this take such a long time so we're gonna go and grab some lunch if you know me you know i love a bit of water park grub it's always so good it's just like comfort food it's amazing get an all-day dining plan here although sometimes a lot of the restaurants are shut but today they all seem to be open i think because it is a saturday but we're gonna head to two banana beef cookout and they do like barbecue and burgers and that kind of thing we're just going to go and join the line for this it's quite a long line actually um but yeah they do lots of things with the menu over here so yeah they do ribs barbecue burger pulled pork sandwich chicken salad wraps kids meals and loads of different sides and desserts um but the issue is this floor is so hot so definitely you should be wearing like flip-flops or whatever i did not do that um so i didn't learn from my mistake last time but yeah we're just kind of waiting in the shade. Right, so I've gone for the pulled pork sandwich. It looks quite good to pulled pork. I like pulled pork. Um, it comes with chips and also comes with a pot of cold slaw. That was 15 99 for that. And then we also got a Coke, which um, isn't meant to be a refill, but there's a machine over there. So we're probably gonna get a sneaky refill also. And my mum went and got the turkey wrap. And that comes again with chips also and that was 14 99 for that and Jack went for the cheeseburger and with the chips it's tasty it's a good sandwich countdown to the wade hall two minutes to go It's actually so fun and it's 
<laughs> so much. It's so fun, but um, if you're not a confident swimmer, they have like life vests that you can get for all sizes, even like adult sizes. They've got life vests for. Um, Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's three o'clock now. We just booked out Uber to go back towards Disney because uh, we need to get ready to go to Hoops Dew tonight. But I actually think that at Car we had like such a great day here, and it just shows that yes, like maybe yesterday was a really bad day, and that's why people were posting about it on like Facebook and stuff. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the day that you go is going to be bad. Literally, all of the attractions are open as far as I'm aware, and we managed to get on quite a lot. So yes, it was busy. It's a Saturday. But I think it's a really good day going to a park car. Um, so I think it's definitely worth getting some tickets to go. Um, but yeah, we had a really, really nice day. Lunch was really nice. So yeah, it was great. So I'm all freshened up and ready to go to Hoop De Doo musical review. I'm so excited to see this show. But my outfit is, I'm wearing my white set from Zara. Um, it's a really nice like waffle material, which I really, really like. I'm wearing this over shirt. This is also from Zara. You can tell I love Zara. Um, I'm wearing this necklace that I got from Rose Gold and Black. I love Rose Gold and Black. I got an order um, a couple of months back and I got a few like necklaces and things like that. But it's really nice for like men's jewelry. And also got um, my bracelet on from Rose Gold and Black. And I'm wearing it with my black and white Converse and Nike socks just for comfort. So that is my outfit for Hoop To Do musical review. I was actually gonna wear this shirt that I got from Shein, but um, I decided against it. I wanted to wear it because I thought it was like a bit more like cowboy theme than what I'm wearing today. Um, because obviously the show is like a cowboy theme show, but I'm not gonna go and wear that. But now the last thing that I need to do to make sure I'm fully ready is go and put on my Sauvage, which is one of my favorite, favorite aftershaves ever. I love it so much. So I'm gonna definitely overspray myself tonight because why not? I'm at Disney and it's gonna be a good show. So might as well overdo it. Okay, so we're just going and leaving All Star Music because we're gonna make our way over to Fort Wilderness to go to Hoop to do musical review. I'm so excited to see this show. I think it's gonna be great. I've heard such great things. They say to give an hour to get the transport over to Fort Wilderness. But we're actually going to give it like two hours to do it because we don't want to get lost anywhere and we've got to kind of like we're going to be using the disney buses so we're going to get the bus over to magic kingdom and then go and get the ferry boat over to fort wilderness i think that's how you do it but if anything goes wrong and there's, to be fair there's nothing wrong with going and just exploring the resort it's meant to be such an amazing resort and you can see the horses and all that kind of stuff so i'm quite excited to go over to fort wilderness but yeah we're going to make our way over there i think it's going to take quite a while um but they do put a few different showings of hope to do musical review so I'm going to do one at 4 o'clock, one at 6.15 and one at 8.30 I think and we're going to the 8.30 ones, we're going to the latest one um, and they start checking for the show half an hour earlier so we're just aiming to be there for 8 o'clock um, but if we go and see some of the result that's going to be a bonus really so yeah let's go and make our way over, hopefully it's easy to navigate ourselves over to Fort Wilderness. I think it'd be great, but obviously if you don't want to get the buses, you can go and get like a minivan or a lift or an Uber or something like that. I could always do that. But yeah, let's go. I'm really excited. So we made it to Magic Kingdom and then now what you just need to do is go through security like you would as if you're going to the park and then you, the ferry boats are just outside. And you just look here for resort launches and then we are getting the red launch which goes to Disney Fort Wilderness campground. So it's our entrance to and then the boats are every 20 minutes. Yeah, so far it's like so easy like i don't see why you need to get like a mini van i feel like obviously that would be easier to get a mini van you can leave a little bit later but it's been really really quick and we're just yeah hopefully now the ferry boat won't be too long it's so cute i've never done this before it's amazing we're gonna sit towards the front and we're gonna sit here this is so exciting Well, that was really fun. I love going onto the boat, and it only took us literally exactly an hour from getting on the bus at All Style Music to get here at Fort Wilderness. So we are finally here. It's actually such a beautiful resort. Like I always knew it was going to be like this, but 
it's so nice. It's like you're in a complete different place. Like, it reminds me of centre parks actually, with all that, the trees and stuff. It's just amazing. This is one of the shops in Fort Wilderness. All the like, Fort Wilderness brand on there, like the t-shirt. The Fort Wilderness ears are really, really cute. And the bucket hat. I haven't worn a bucket hat before, but it's way cute. They've got the hoop de doo magnet, which is like the washboard. They used to do a pin badge of this, but I've just asked and they don't do them anymore, which is really, really sad. But the magnet is 14 99 That is a huge magnet. Huge. Honestly, so sad they don't have that pin badge. Like, that was the one thing I was like really looking forward to get in. And I was like, oh, it's just got in. Um, but apparently, yeah, after the pandemic, they stopped doing that pin badge. Um, but the lady in there was saying it was so popular, because literally, like, pin collectors, it's their dream. If they go to the show, like, get one, but I get one for literally everything that I go to. But, yeah, it's not going to happen this time. But I think that just means I'm probably going to have to just go to Hoop to do again in a few years' time when they get the badge back. But why is this, like, the cutest resort ever? Like, look at the little park. So this is Pioneer Hall. This is where the actual, like, show is the moment it takes place um but yeah here's hoop to do so it's on wednesdays to sundays and at 4 p.m 6 15 at 8 30 we're going to the 8 30 show but obviously it's up to you which one you want to pick and yeah you get it's a all you can eat home style do like great food apparently um, and gratuity is already included in the price so yeah, they do like three different prices for hoop to do so you can either get first category which is like the seating on the floor and then you've got second and third category which is up in like the balcony area of it we're going first category this time because it's our first time seeing it and we was like we have to get good seats for it so that's what we are doing for this trip we paid 74 dollars each for first category obviously we don't know what seat we're going to get so we could be like towards the back of the floor area um there's no like way of actually knowing you don't select your seat specifically but um yeah, hopefully we have a good seat um, and I'll let you know what I think of going first category. Um, obviously I won't be able to review second or third category, but it all kind of depends on what you think and like your budgets and that kind of thing. I don't think there's much difference between first category, second category and third category though in the price difference. Um, but And I think there's quite a good price considering when you get food included and some all you can eat sort of thing. So I'll let you know how much kind of food we get, but I'm really excited. It's all like chicken and ribs and that kind of stuff. It's just great food all the time. This is so cute, the horses. Just what I'll show you, we've checked in. We actually checked on the My Disney Experience app, but then we still had to go to the thing, um, where the little check-in station. But we've got our little ticket, um, which we are table 12C, which I'm not sure what table that is. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. We're about to go in now. The people on the last show are just coming out. So I think we'll be in like, in the next like 10 minutes or so. There's food at the table, ready to go. We're at table 12, so just gonna see where we're gonna be. And we are front row, we are right at the centre. Like, what a great view! I can't believe we're right at the front. We have food here, so you've got a salad, there's coleslaw, and you've also got the cornbread and some barbecue sauce. But I'm still not over this view. I'm still not over this view. And then here is the menu, so you get the cornbread coleslaw, beans, chicken, uh, ribs, mashed potato, cornbread with uh, crusted macaroni cheese and strawberry shortcake. And then with your meal you can get one of these, you can get either chardonnay, you get Bud Light lager, uh, sangria, and then they have all these non-alcoholic selections as well. So Jack and John have got soft drinks, John went for apple juice and Jack went for a coke, and then me and my mum have gone for our beer. Cheers. This is the tastiest cornbread. It's so nice. It has like a sweet butter on top of it. It's so good. Tuck my napkin. Make sure I don't get any mess on my white t-shirt. Oh, he's playing the piano. We have chicken and ribs, got our mac and cheese, got our beans, and got our mashed potato.
more food. We've got even more mac and cheese now. But, um, oh, and we've got mesh as well. <laughs> <laughs> and so much. And more chicken. Sam, and more chicken. Oh, and more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this mashed potato is just the best mashed potato you could ever have. I think it's actually got like corn in it. I don't know. It's so good. The mac and cheese is good as well. Walking back from Hoop to Do Musical Review, we are back now in All Star Music, and that show is honestly so good, so good. We was all in hysterics. It was so funny to watch. Like, it was so nice as well. In particular, seeing Jack and Sean, like they was laughing the whole way through it. I was laughing the whole way through it. To be honest, it's such a funny show, and you will literally be cracking up at it because it's just so funny. Um, but yeah, the food was amazing as well, and they kept giving us so much food. Like we didn't even finish it in the end, but they gave us like two like big baskets of like fried chicken and ribs, and um, like two lots of mash and two lots of mac and cheese, and we got so much food. Um, and the show itself was just incredible, so incredible, and the whole atmosphere like it was just perfect. It was the perfect night of our trip, and I just loved it so much. And I can't believe that this is now my fourth visit to Walt Disney World and I can't believe that this is actually my first time seeing that show like it is now going to be something that I'm going to want to keep going back to over and over again like, and I now, now know why people want to keep going back to that show because it's just phenomenal phenomenal and yeah you're going to love it if you go you will absolutely love it it's so good also I think that the transportation between getting to your resort to Fort Wilderness was really really easy I really liked the boat transportation I thought that was really good so again I highly recommend that you just go and do that leave some time for it I mean it was nice to explore Fort Wilderness actually I wish we gave ourselves even more time because we didn't get to see the horses and that kind of thing it's such a big resort Fort Wilderness I would have loved to have seen it but yeah I'm gonna actually round up this vlog here so I hope you enjoyed our day at Aquatica and hope to do musical review I thoroughly had like the most amazing day I really really enjoyed it um Tomorrow we are off to Magic Kingdom. We're gonna get our Tron last full day at Magic Kingdom. We had a really, really nice day. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you real soon in the next vlog. Bye guys.